Kia ora. I'm Matt, one of the carnivore keepers here at Wellington Zoo, and I have the privilege to help look after our Sumatran tigers. Sumatran tigers are actually the smallest type of tiger, so while they are the largest cat species in the world, Sumatran tigers only reach about a third of the size of the larger tiger subspecies. In the wild, they are only found on Sumatra, an island in Indonesia, and they typically live on their own in areas of dense rainforest with lots of cover they make good use of when hunting. The colouring of a Sumatran tiger is much darker than any other type of tiger. The pattern of a tiger's stripes is totally unique to that individual, so kind of like our fingerprints, no two tigers have the exact same set of stripes. The tigers we have here at the zoo have lots of personality, and it makes working with them a totally different experience each and every day. We follow the five domains of animal welfare, and one of the main ways we take care of our tigers is by providing them with as much choice in their environment as we can. If presented with different options in their habitat, the animals then can decide where they want to be and put themselves where they're going to feel most comfortable. So on a hot day, they might choose to cool down in the cave they have here outside, or at the base of one of the large pine trees at the back of the habitat. They also have the pond they can have a play and a splash around in if they feel like and they have heated inside dens that we can turn on for them in the winter and colder times of the year. Tigers are a carnivorous species and we offer them a variety of meat items during the week. Tigers are also gorge feeders, so in the wild they can eat a large amount of food in one sitting and then not need to eat again for several days. We try to simulate a similar diet for our tigers, so we might offer them a lot of food in one day, which is a proper gorge feed so they can get nice and full, and then other days we might only need to offer them a small amount. When we do offer out their diet, it's important for us to provide it to them in ways that's going to get them stimulated and displaying some of the natural behaviours they'd be using in the wild. So that might be hanging their food up high so they have to jump and climb to get to it. Might be putting it in enrichment and puzzle feeders so that's going to get them really stimulated and get them thinking. Or it might just be placing it in different spots around their habitat so they have to use their exploratory behaviours and senses to find it all. We do also hand feed with our tigers, which is really important when it comes to the training and behavioural conditioning we do with them. Monitoring the health and any potential medical issues of a tiger can be very tricky since they're definitely an animal you do not want to be in the same space with. So through the training that we do with them every day, we can get them to present different parts of their bodies and even have their cooperation if we need to apply any treatments to those areas. The training that we do with them helps maintain a positive, trusting relationship and makes the way we manage them much easier and a lot more stress free. By following the five domains model, we can ensure we're taking good care of our tigers and that they're in a positive welfare state. Kia ora, I'm Nick and I'm the animal care manager here at Wellington Zoo. Here at Wellington Zoo, we're very proud members of ZAR, which is the regional association of zoos and aquarias. And as well as that, we're also a member of WAZA, which is the world association of zoos and aquarium. One of the most important aspects of our work here at Wellington Zoo is our conservation work and none more important than the work we have with our Sumatran tigers. The Sumatran tigers here are part of a managed breeding program and like all of the other animals in the zoo that are th facing threats from extinction, they need to be managed. Small population management is a way that we can ensure that the genetic diversity of this endangered species is, is protected and it's just part of our arsenal in helping save species across the world. Kia ora, I'm Ox and I'm the conservation manager here at the zoo. Wellington Zoo is a not-for-profit organisation and we work to help protect the wild populations of the animals that we care for here at the zoo. One of the things we do to help protect animals is partner with conservation organisations both in New Zealand and overseas. We support our conservation partners both financially and through offering our staff time and expertise. One of our conservation partners is Wildcats Conservation Alliance and they work to help protect wild populations of tigers in their natural habitats. My name is Amy van Gelder and I'm the Science Communicator for Wildcats Conservation Alliance here in the UK. We're an initiative of the Zoological Society of London and Dream World Wildlife Foundation and we're on a mission to save wild tigers and amur leopards for future generations by channeling public and zoo support for conservation projects. We aim to reduce the key threats to tigers and amur leopards by addressing illegal wildlife trade, increasing the area that is protected by anti-poaching activities, enabling community coexistence and mitigating conflict, helping to create safe and secure habitats. 
We also support research which informs conservation actions through deepening the understanding of the population ecology of the species. We fund education and outreach efforts to communities living alongside big cats to help inspire them to act in the best interests of wild tigers, animal leopards. And finally, to ensure long-term conservation success, we support projects which are committed to developing in-country capacity to create and sustain a cadre of experienced and knowledgeable conservationists. Working together since 2012 to fund Sumatran tiger conservation projects in Karinchi Sablat National Park in Indonesia, Wellington Zoo have been an important contributor to the persistence of the species. The funding they have provided has helped to keep rangers properly equipped to carry out intelligence-led anti-poaching patrols, facilitating an 85% decrease in active tiger snares set in the core of the park since 2015. Long-term funding in Karinchi Sablat National Park has helped to increase the tiger population by an incredible 25% in just seven years. Sumatran tigers are critically endangered, which means they're facing extremely high risk of extinction in the wild. But there are ways that you can help. You can help protect wild populations of tigers by looking for the FSC logo when you buy wood or paper products. FSC stands for the Forest Stewardship Council. When products have the FSC logo, that means that they've come from responsibly managed forests and you can be sure that they're protecting biodiversity, local communities and local people. So next time you're buying paper towels or tissues, look for the tree with a tick and you'll know that you're doing your part to help support wild populations of tigers.